Today I will be talking about the Archons and I got this information from uh, watching a form of media and a dream experience that was very real. And in uh, conversations with a few enlightened humans. So I watched something and um, of course there's predictive programming meaning that um, the elite or powers that be put things in uh, movies or TV shows or advertisements so that when an actual event occurs then it seems like it, it's normal like an alien invasion for example and um, certain ideas or truths are introduced, like uh, Manchurian Candidate and uh, Mind Control or uh, The Matrix of uh, the holographic nature of the universe. Um, actually, I just watched uh, Ghost Rider last night, and it's sort of like uh, spirit possession um, as well, that um, whatever, um, he's kind of ridden by another persona or uh, identity, which is sort of like a demon. And then whenever he rides, say, a motorcycle or a crane or something, then that uh, machine becomes sort of intertwined with him and uh, goes on fire and receives sort of one in the same energies. It's, it's much like the Beatles song, um, Baby You Can Drive My Car. It's also about spirit possession in that um, you have a driver, but you don't have a vehicle in, in that song. It's, it's little known. Or the nature of reality in uh, Hotel California, even. There's, there's many hints that are sort of doled out. And so I watched this one thing, which I'm not going to say what it is. And um, it sort of introduced an idea or a back door within the human mind. And we're assaulted outright, like I said. Um, but people that are aware of this, it doesn't, it doesn't work on you. And there's a difference in between um, predictive programming and um, being a victim of the mind control in that you feel that the symbols um, are directly talking to you, like in a personal way, in a synchronistic way, if say you, you uh, heard a song, then that's uh, sort of borderline uh, gray area into um, psychosis. And that's partly what they would like us to be, is in, ineffective, uh, mind-controlled um, entities and, uh, and influenced uh, by these other entities. Now, this is all very confusing without me saying what it actually is, but um, this one specific form of media, it wasn't really outright. Um, like you could understand a lot of the, uh, what it actually meant, but, um, later it can get into your mind in, um, in your dreams and it provides a doorway for, um, entities to come through, which is why I'm not, I'm not mentioning the form of media that directly, um, influenced me on that level because I, I feel it's, it's just too dangerous. I, I did tell you know, a few people um, that could really understand, and thankfully I have people that understand about what I went through because um, they really did try to scramble scramble my eggs or uh, or uh, make me almost have a psychotic break when this one has happened to me fairly recently. And so not isolating yourself and realize that, realize that you are... Um, it's a form of trauma-based mind control and realize that this is what happened to you and then deal with um, the, the symptoms of it. 
So it has to do with archons and the architects of our reality in the terms of our perception in, in this world. We are, we are limited by time and space and, and many other things and controllers. And so it's something that can make you think that an idea or an experience was your original idea. Something that can change your reality. Um, I've learned that these entities are um, alien in that they don't come from our dimensional reality or energetic level. They are more like a non-physical, digital, like virus consciousness. And they are not reptilians. Um, I don't necessarily think that they are greys either now be because of what I saw. Now, that doesn't mean that that's not true, but I'll get into what I actually saw. And they're more like agents. And they are not very creative. They cannot um, create other than what's there and they kind of use what's there. Maybe once upon a time they were able to um, create physical things in our reality, but at this time I feel like they cannot, but they're they're highly manipulative and they use what's here very, very well and what's in your mind and your, your memories and your past experiences and your emotions. They can manipulate very, very well and they themselves um, are non-emotional, non-feeling, um, psycho-spiritual parasites. Now, I do not agree with the Gnostics that they, well, maybe it was a misinterpretation, but they are not the imperfect um, or creators of our own imperfect physical reality as described by the Gnostics. But they do change our reality through perceptions, our minds, and the media. They can create false memories or idea through mind control is usually trauma-based or uh, within your dreams. Once uh, this one media file is viewed, it can, it can open a door in the minds of a susceptible victim in which a dream can be manipulated or create dreams within a dream. So that's kind of what happened to me several times over and over. I would wake up in a dream and then um, there, would, there would be a scenario uh, presented. So it's really uh, hard to tell what is real reality and these beings do not have empathy and time and space are not a limit for them. So they could present like 10 realities or 10 different um, possibilities, um, past, present, and future realities at the same time and then it would be very difficult for our human minds to handle and for us to be able to choose um, which reality is really ours to try to get out of their sort of energetic trap to know back to where um, you came from and even who you are. They will manipulate emotions and memories and future possibilities and hope. They can make you amnesic of yourself and your past, which is what happened to me. Um, I was almost totally sus energetically suspended and they had um, agents as sort of human type representations, but behind them there was sort of an energetic wall or veil and I saw sort of, it was like shadow people, but they didn't have the hats. And they were the true manipulators or the uh, the man behind the curtain, sort of the uh, people sort of behind the manipulators, behind our governments, for example. They can cause psychotic breaks and make you think symbols in the media are speaking to you instead of predictive programming that's becoming more susceptible. Increased isolation, mind fracturing, and synchronicities can occur in your life to cause more reality shifts and overload within the human mind. The ability of another sentient consciousness to enter our dreams and communicate with us. Can this actually happen? Not with current technology, but our dream state can open us to communication with other sentient beings. Not physical beings, but separate consciousnesses nevertheless. This happens so often nobody really notices. A common black occult teaching is that a stronger mind can overcome a weaker mind, thus causing delusion in this, in this case. And you can argue that um, our reality or physical reality is not real, or our dream state is not real, but irregardless, both have uh, sort of a bleed over. And uh, these entities can control by both covert or overt means. And in my case, covert means didn't really work. Um, 
as a free human being, they had to use more overt means by um, coming into my dream space. Now, the, the media file that I watched was not necessary for my experience to happen, but I believe it was more of a, a catalyst and more likely to happen if you are an awake person, unable to be con controlled by the covert means, then these entities can be, become more present like in your face. So in my dream, um, basically, uh, I told you what I saw, beings behind beings. Um, this might not always be perceptible to most people, but I was able to see mostly what was going on. But it was very confusing because I had no recollection of who I was. And I just had knowings of like, you know, this is this, that is that. But this incarnation, I in reality, I had no recollection of. Um, there was about four or five of them standing behind two or three agent dream agents that they had put in my dream. And I was sort of energetically suspended um, my astral body because I saw it outside of myself and they presented all these scenarios uh, past memories of that were real um, some false realities and some future uh, possible realities and they had a um, child there that I felt really a connection to that it could possibly be my child um, in the future sense and they put a metaphysical gun to its head um, not literally and that I could see again but um, threatening and wanting, saying that there was something wrong within the uh, energetic um, DNA of matter itself. And they showed me this, um, this, um, you know, energetic, what an energetic cube would look like with the cross and um, two vortices um, interchanging in the middle from diagonally and sort of wavy thing with like dots in the middle. And they were wanting me to manipulate it. I guess they they needed me to do it and weren't, weren't unable to do it themselves and um, I knew that they were up to no good I refused to do what they were trying to get me to do and um, I somehow I was I was like I want to wake up I want to wake up I couldn't I couldn't really get back to myself um, quick enough um, which I didn't even know who I was where I was but I just followed a thread this one energetic thread I had of just being and uh, I wanted to wake up and then I woke up. Now in discussion of this with someone else, um, they said that they're trying to get me to um, cre help create some kind of um, bi biological technical entity that's uh, sort of half physical and energetic, like, like the grades are often explained as being, but who knows what they're actually trying to get me to do, but this, I mean, it sounded like tech, like this would be something that they would, they would try to, to, uh, get somebody to do, and we're, we're powerful creators ourselves as, uh, human beings, and these are only sort of, uh, uh, parasitic, uh, puppeteer, manipulator type um, entities, and, and knowledge is power, and that's why I'm making this video for anybody else that uh, might have had this experience, that they can know they're not alone in it, and forewarned is uh, forearmed, and uh, maybe this will uh, help somebody else. Uh, questions and comments are, are always welcome. Be safe.